Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel, Yoga with Shani Lee, Shani Lee Yoga. Today will be a 60 minute full body slow vinyasa flow, uh, specifically for anxiety. So we'll be slowing it down to kind of help us slow down our crazy stressful lives. So that's where we'll go today. So I'll see you on the mat. So as you're ready, we'll start in a seated position here, Sukhasana, easy seat. Your legs can be cross-legged if that serves you. If that doesn't, they can be straight out or knees bent, whatever feels good in your body. So I invite you to, to find a comfortable seat and close your eyes. And let's start to get into the breath. Beginning to slow it down, beginning to call attention to our breath, maybe for the first time today. Letting everything fill up, the stomach, the chest. And if it helps you, I invite you to take one hand and place it on your heart. One hand on your belly button. And with that, you might be able to feel yourself leaning forward or leaning back or hunching. I encourage you to use the gentle pressure of your hands to find alignment in the spine. A slight tuck of the tailbone, sitting up nice and tall. I wanted to dedicate this class to anxiety, to calming the nerves, because that is how I came to yoga, was battles with anxiety and depression, just needing to slow it down and tune in, really helped. It wasn't a be all end all, right? Like yoga didn't save me um, or completely change my life, but it definitely helped. And I think we all have stress in our lives, right? There's always something that's on our mind and so sometimes getting those spinning thoughts and can't slow them down. So when you're feeling something like that I encourage you if you only have five or ten minutes go on a walk or sit in some place and breathe whether it's loud in the background, you've got family or kids or traffic. Focus on your body and your breath. If you have an hour and you're doing this with me, great. Take one more round of breath to do a little check-in. And we'll begin our pranayama. Exhale everything out. When you're empty, slowly fill everything back up. Fill the lungs and hold at the top. You will be exhaling in three parts. As you are ready, exhale just a third of the way, feeling it leave your neck and your head and stop. Exhale another third of the way as it leaves your chest. And then exhale all the way, everything. You'll feel the belly collapse inward slightly. A nice one big smooth inhale. And exhale a third of the way and hold. Exhale two thirds of the way. And all the way. Keep this up for about three more rounds of breath on your own. This breathing exercise by exhaling in three parts is forcing our bodies to slow down. So if you want to feel energized, you can try inhaling in three parts in different practice. But this exhaling in three parts is starting to activate our parasympathetic nervous system, our rest and digest response. Let's do one more round of breath here. Exhale a third, and another, and let it out. Slowly, if your hands have been on your chest, on your heart, on your stomach, come back to your sides. 
and maybe begin to take some gentle neck movements here. Listen to your body. What do you need? What do you need to stretch out? We hold a lot of tension in our neck. I'm one of those people. And so if you're feeling a lot of stress, you might have a lot bunched up here. Just take some gentle movements, some gentle head rolls or shoulder rolls. While this is a full body flow, we'll be primarily getting into the hips and the shoulders. Take one more round here and find stillness. Exhale everything out. And if your eyes are closed, I invite you to gently flutter them open. On your next inhale, slowly take your hands, lift them up into the sky, and we'll be twisting off towards the right. Exhale, left hand comes to your right knee, right hand comes behind you, maybe you gaze over your shoulder. Stand up nice and tall. And I invite you to breathe space into the stretch that you feel between your shoulder blades. One more out of breath here. Exhale, slowly unwind the torso and then inhale, arms lift up and we'll take it to the other side. Exhale. This time, right hand comes to left knee, gazing over your left shoulder, still sitting up nice and tall. Breathing some love and space into the stretch. Take one more round of breath. And exhale, unwind. Inhale, arms lift up. And fold it over your legs. Reach for the earth. Maybe you have enough space to drop your elbows to the mat. Maybe you're still up on your hands, or maybe you're even further up here. Kind of depends on where you are feeling okay in the hips. Take one more round of breath here. Exhale, release. And then keeping your right hand on the mat, on your next inhale, open your left arm out and back. Getting a nice twist here. Maybe you gaze over your shoulder. You can use the breath to deepen the stretch. And by that, I mean just breathe deep and you'll feel everything expand. Exhale, release it back and we'll take it to the other side. Left hand on the mat. Inhale, open the right, out and back. Exhale, bring it back down. On your inhale, slowly walk your hands back in and we'll switch the cross on our legs and repeat that little sequence there to notice how it feels different on each side. As you are ready, inhale, arms sweep up, twisting towards the right first. Exhale, opposite hand, opposite knee, gaze over your shoulder. One more round of breath. And exhale, unwind your center. Inhale, arms lift. And exhale, take it towards the left. One more round of breath. Exhale through center. Inhale, arms lift, and we'll fold it back over. Exhale, release your hands towards the earth. Maybe hang your head. You can just notice any difference in each leg. And as you're ready, lift halfway on the inhale. Left hand to the mat. Inhale, open the right arm. Out, up, and back, if that makes sense. <laughs> Try to keep both sit bones on the mat. You'll feel the sit bone on the side of the lifted arm being lifted up. Try to gently guide it back down. Exhale, release. Take it to the other side. Inhale. So we feel your left sit bone trying to lift itself off the mat. If this doesn't serve you, just go, you might be here, you might be here, just try to get some type of chest opening. And exhale, release. Hang your head one more second. 
and then inhale, roll up, and we'll take it to a tabletop. Actually, child's pose, not tabletop, my bad. <laughs> roll onto your knees, take your hips back, and then as you're ready, exhale, release your hips towards your heels. Knees can be wide or close together. Finding a child's pose. Take a couple seconds here. And then on your next exhale, begin to walk your hands over towards the right. Breathe into the left side body. Breathing into all that space you're making. Space to breathe, space to slow down. And then on your next exhale, walk your hands all the way over towards the left. Breathing space. Last round here and exhale, come back through center. Maybe your head comes to the mat. Just find an extra little bit of release. One more round of breath. And as you are ready, we'll begin our flow. On the inhale, begin to shift up and forward as you adjust your knees and your hips to drop your hips towards the earth and shine your chest forward. Coming into rising Bhujangasana Cobra Pose. Take a second here, wrists are underneath your shoulders. Feel that release in the hip flexors. If you've been sitting a lot recently, maybe you rock from side to side. And then as you're ready on your next exhale, I invite you to look over your right shoulder, dipping your left hip flexor deeper into the mat. And then we'll take it to the other side. Hands over your left shoulder. Breathing space into your hip flexor. Take it back through center. And we'll flow between rising cobra and balasana three times. As you are ready, exhale, lift your hips and send them back towards child's pose. Inhale, shift forward, drop the hips, gaze up. Exhale, child's pose. Feel the activation in your lower core. Once more, inhale. And exhale. This one will take it to tabletop. This is where tabletop comes in. Inhale, lift halfway. And exhale, adjust your hands underneath your shoulders and your knees underneath your hips. Once you're there, I invite you to begin to sway from side to side. So as you send your hips one direction, I encourage you to send your head the other direction. Maybe you hang your head. And now we'll be inviting cow and cat into our spine from here. So if you don't think the movement side to side will serve you, Feel free to stop, but otherwise I like this idea of rocking. To me, this feels like a rocking sensation and rocking to me is very calming. So keeping this sway on your next inhale, begin to gently move your stomach towards the floor as you gaze up, finding cow pose. Again, you might not be able to go as deep as normal here, but that's okay. And then exhale. Just exploring a difference in the pose. Begin to arch your back and tuck your chin and tailbone towards cat. Twice more. Inhale, find your version of cow. Totally fine if you're not as deep as you normally can go. And exhale, find your version of swaying cat. Once more, inhale. And exhale. 
as you are ready, slowly come to find stillness. Take a second check in with the body. How are things going? How are things doing? How is it going? And then as you're ready, walk your hands in a little bit closer together. And then on your inhale, open your right arm towards the sky and we'll thread it underneath behind the left on the exhale to drop the left the right shoulder towards the mat as you adjust the left hand. Thread the needle pose. So now option to stay here or option if you feel comfortable and lift your hand up into the sky, turn your palm around, bend your elbow to drop your forearm over your low back and take a bind. Maybe reach for the crease of your right thigh and hip. That's one variation. You can also just extend your hand out overhead, which gets a little bit more into the lats. Wherever you are at, one more round of breath. If you have the bind on the exhale, slowly bring your left hand back towards the earth and inhale, we'll all rise up together, reset to do the other side. As you are ready, inhale, left arm this time opens, nice big stretch, and exhale, thread the needle, other side. Adjust as needed, and maybe find a reach overhead. If you do that, try to keep your chest from caving in, but shift and keep it open. Otherwise, find the bind. One more round of breath. If you have the bind on the exhale, release the right hand back to the earth. Inhale, we'll all rise up. Take one more round of breath here, sway anything out. And then as you are ready, find stillness, exhale. Moving to bear pose, tuck your toes. And on the next inhale, lift your knees just about an inch off the mat, keeping a flat back. We'll be shifting into downward facing dog from here five times just to invite some movement as if this doesn't serve you, you can keep your knees on the mat. Otherwise, as you're ready, exhale, lift the hips, start to send them back and then shifting back to bear, inhale. Exhale, Adamukha Spanasana, lift the hips and begin to send them back and inhale, drop your knees back towards bear. Three more times on your own breath. Exhale up. Inhale forward. Exhale. And in. Last time, exhale. And settle downward facing dog. Maybe you need to walk something out a bit more. <sighs> One more round of breath before we find a little bit of movement. I find calm sometimes in repetition, right? And then slow, steady movement is a great way to calm everything down. This time we'll shift forward into a plank. As you are ready, inhale, shift forward into a plank. Adjust your stance as needed. And then on the exhale, hover your knees like we just did in bear. And this time, sit your hips back towards your heels like we did in child's pose, towards crouching tiger, and then extend the leg straight towards downward facing dog. Four more times. Inhale, undulate forward to a plank. Exhale, push and drop towards crouching tiger, and then downward facing dog. Inhale, and exhale, moving a little quicker. Twice more on your own breath. All knee in downward facing dog. Maybe you take your dog for a walk by pedaling your feet. Maybe you gaze underneath your shoulders. One more round of breath. Exhale, sigh out, let something go. And as you are ready, inhale to lift the heels, bend the knees, and step or hop your way to the top your mat. 
release the hands if that was a lot of pressure. Inhale, halfway lift, nice flat back. And exhale, bow it down and stay here. Maybe you ragdoll your arms by linking your hands in your elbow crease. Maybe you sway from side to side. Whatever feels good in your body. Take one more round of breath here. Come to find stillness, release the hands. Ground down in the heels, slowly vertebrae for vertebrae, roll it up on the inhale. At the last second, exhale here. And then one more inhale, taking it nice and slow, maybe invite a slight back bend as your hands reach up. And exhale, let your hands come down through heart center into your sides. Mountain Pose Tadasana. Just take a second here, focus on our stance. So ground down in the heels, maybe rock a little bit forward and a little bit back, and then maybe a little side to side and find that place in between all of that movement where you feel centered and steady and settle there. Tuck the tailbone, ground down through the feet. Maybe lift the toes, spread them and place them down wide. Shoulders are down and back. Take one more round of breath here. Sigh it out. As you're ready, on the inhale, arms reach up towards the sky, slight back bend. And exhale, fold it towards the earth. On your next inhale, halfway lift. Flat back, Ardha Uttanasana. And then stay in the fold, exhale, Uttanasana. From here, bend, let me back so you can see a little bit better. Bend your right knee and begin to straighten your left leg as you place your right hand on the mat or on a block if they're available to you. Then as you are ready, open on the inhale, your left arm to the sky. Take a nice spinal twist. One more round of breath. Exhale, release your hands back to the mat and we'll take it to the other side. This time moving towards straight if your left or if your right knee doesn't straighten completely, it's fine. Try not to lock it out and keep a nice gentle bend Left leg bends, left hand to the mat or block, inhale, right arm opens. Take one more round of breath here. And exhale, release everything to the mat. Inhale, halfway lift again. And this time on the exhale, bend your knees to plant your hands and step or hop your way back to your plank. Inhale, shift your weight forward, and on the exhale, drop your knees, and then begin to keep in a 90 degree bend in the elbows, drop your chest, hips stay lifted, chin on the mat, maybe. Take a breath here. And then on your next inhale, push into your hands as you drop your hips towards the earth to come into rising cobra, lifting the chest off the mat. And exhale, tuck the toes as you lift your hips and fly them back to the downward facing dog. Take a second here. Maybe hang the head. And as you're ready, keeping the left hand nice and firm, begin to bend the right elbow so that you can look up under your left shoulder. Try not to lose anything in the legs. And exhale, release, come back through center. We'll do the other side later, don't worry. Ground down in the left foot, inhale, right leg reaches up into the air, three-legged dog, and then opens to scorpion leg your dog. Nice big hip stretch. Breathe into that space that you are creating in your body. Space for peace, space for calm. 
Try to stay square on the shoulders. One more round of breath. And then stepping it all the way through. Exhale, shift forward into a plank. As you plant your right hand or your right foot between your hands, dial your back heel back and down. Cartwheel your arms up, staying bent in the front leg to warrior two. Rear Vajrasana two. Adjust as needed. And we'll hold here. Take a couple rounds of breath, maybe like three or four. Warrior is a nice, powerful pose to check your postures, your knee going out or in. Make sure it's right over your ankle. You be able to see your big toe. Shoulders are away from ears. Belly button tucked in. Whenever you feel like weak, just remember like you're a warrior. You got this. Last round of breath before we reverse it. Exhale your breath out. And then inhale, sweep the arms back. Left hand reaches for your left leg, right arm up into the sky. We'll hold here. So if you like more of a little power session, this front burn in the front leg is for you. Option to stay here or option to begin to turn your palm towards the back of the room as, or back of whatever, the opposite direction of your front <laughs> and find a bind around your leg. Keeping the front knee bent, one more round of breath. And if you have the bind, exhale slowly release and we'll flow three times. Exhale, drop right elbow to right knee as you lift your upper arm up and over. And then take it back. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, flow. Last time, inhale, reverse. And exhale, bring your right elbow towards your right knee as you lift your left arm up and overhead. Option to stay here, or option if you don't compromise anything in the chest. So we need to drop your, uh, your right hand. I'm messing up on right and left a lot today, but your right hand towards the earth. Option to stay here, or to invite a bind. Lift your left arm up, turn the palm around, then you're able to bring it around the low back and reach your right arm underneath your right leg to find a bind. Keep your chest from caving in like this, but keep it nice and active and open. Let's do two more rounds of breath. Invite the shaking. Last round of breath. If you have the bind, release your hand back to the mat. Inhale, everyone lift your arm up and slowly lift it all the way up. Woo, if you need to straighten the front leg a little bit, release, reverse your warrior. Warrior two, exhale. <sighs> Inhale here. And exhale, take it back to the mat, release. Maybe you shift back and forth here and a runner's lunge for a bit. Release some of the pressure on the front leg. Woo, and then Take your leg back to plank. Inhale, shift your weight forward. Drop the knees, drop your chest, exhale. Inhale, slither forward and lift. Rising cobra, tuck the toes. And exhale and lift up and back. Downward facing dog. Take a second here. Now this time, bend your left elbow to gaze under your right shoulder. Try not to compromise too much in the rest of the body. <sighs> Last round of breath. And then exhale, come back through center. Ground down in the right foot this time. Next inhale, left leg sweeps up and opens into scorpion leg. Three-legged dog. Nice big hip stretch here. Try to stay square in the shoulders. Maybe you lift the knee up just a little bit more. And then step the left foot all the way through. Exhale, plant it between the hands. Back heel back and down, 90 degrees. And windmill up. Warrior two. Here of Adrasana two on the other side. Check your posture. Make any adjustments as needed. 
nice strong pose, reminding yourself of your strength, finding calm in the stillness. Let's do one more round of breath here. And then inhale or reverse. Your warrior, be fighting for Vira Vajrasana. An option to stay here, or option to wind your right hand around your low back, maybe reaching for the hip crease on the left leg. If you do that, make sure you're not puffing out your chest to try to reach. Keep everything nice and in. Let's take one more round of breath. And then if you have the bind, exhale, release. Inhale here, and we'll flow. Exhale, take elbow to knee, reach. The other arm up and overhead, extended side angle. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, reach. Inhale, reverse. And exhale. The last time, inhale, reverse your warrior. Peaceful warrior, and exhale, Uttita, Parasva Konasana, left elbow to left knee, right arm reaches up and overhead. An option to stay here, option to drop your left hand towards the inside of your left foot, or option to reach for your bind. Three more rounds of breath wherever you are at. Last round of breath. If you have the bind, exhale, release left hand to mat. Inhale, right arm lifts up. Exhale, and inhale, reverse your warrior. If you need to straighten that front leg, you can. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale here, and exhale, take it to the mat. Woo. And maybe sway around a bit in a Runner's lunge towards almost split. Just really some tension, some lactic acid building up. And then as you are ready, exhale, take it back to plank. Inhale, shift forward, drop the knees, drop the chest, slither through, rising cobra, inhale, and tuck the toes. Exhale, downward facing dog. Let's take a round of breath here. Last round of breath. Exhale, side out. Inhale, lift the heels, bend the knees, gaze forward, and step or hop your way to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, bow and hold here. Now this time we'll do the opposite. So this time, bend to the left knee as you straighten or move the right towards straight with the right hand on the mat. Open the left arm towards the sky. Observe any difference, how this feels different than the last time we had the right knee bent and the left leg straight. And exhale, release. Switch up. The left leg moves towards straight as right knee bends and open the right arm towards the sky, left hand on the mat, or a block. Take one more round of breath, and exhale, release everything back towards the earth. Rising all the way up, inhale, arms sweep up towards the sky and touch overhead, and exhale, hands float down to your side. Let's take a second, check in. And we'll continue. Inhale, arms sweep up. This time, stay tall in the spine. On the exhale, bring just the hands behind you. Interlace the fingers. Squeeze your glutes as you inhale. Open the chest, keeping your lower back safe, pulling your shoulders and your hands away from your ears. And then from here, soft bend in the knee as you hinge forward from the waist to come into a bound forward fold. Release anything you have in the neck. If this doesn't serve you, you can grab your wrists or elbows behind your back. Take 
one more round of breath. And we'll release our hands to the mat. Exhale. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, bend the knees, plant the hands, and step or hop your way back to a plank. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, drop the knees, drop the chest and the chin. Inhale, rising cobra. Tuck the toes. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a round of breath here. Exhale, side out. And then staying grounded in the left leg. Inhale, right leg opens up. Scorpion leg, your dog. Take a moment here. Then we'll be adding a little bit in for our core because it's good for us. On the exhale, as you're ready, shift forward into a plank and bring your right knee to kiss your right elbow. And then take it back, scorpion. Inhale. Taking it now towards the left elbow. Exhale, shift forward into a plank. Right knee to left elbow, kiss. And bring it back. Last time, exhale back to the right elbow and hold here. One more round of breath. And then as you are ready, begin to keep your knee where it's at mostly, but shift your right foot off towards the left. So then you can drop your knee on the mat and shift back into your version of Pigeon Pose. Akaraja Kapotanasana. If this doesn't serve you, you can come to a seat or onto your back and cross your right ankle over your left knee, either reclined or seated. And if none of that serves, you can keep your legs straight and have just some type of cross or opening to get into that hip. If you are in pigeon, let's take one more breath up if you haven't already folded. And then we'll fold together over that front leg. Exhale. Let's take about five rounds of breath here. Hold a lot of tension in our hips as well. And we spend a lot of our day sitting at work, on our computers, at desks and cars. Finding a moment of release. Last round of breath. I know it's never long enough. <laughs> Maybe for some of you, like, no, that's definitely long enough. Either way, begin to walk your hands back up, or if you're on your back, you're seated. Make your way towards a plank. We'll be moving back towards three like a dog straight from here. As you're ready, tuck your back toes, lift your hips and your leg, and inhale three like a dog with the scorpion, extend it back, Woo, open up. Option to stay here if you know wild thing is in your practice, you can flip your dog, I won't cue it since it's just, if you know you wanna go there and open a little bit more into the chest. Or you can stay in three like a dog. Wherever you're at, one more round of breath. If you are in wild thing, slowly make your way back to three-legged scorpion dog, and we'll step that same foot all the way through. Exhale, step your foot through, moving to warrior two, back heel, back and down, and inhale, windmill up, warrior two, bear of adrasana two. One round of breath here. And then straighten that front leg, inhale, turn both toes towards the long edge of your mat, star pose, soft knees, exhale, straight back, take your hands towards the earth and release, wide-legged forward fold. Take a moment here, if you want to get a little bit more into the outside of the legs, you can turn your feet in a little more, your toes, I should say. Just a different type of stretch. Option to stay here. Or option as you are ready to walk, your hands over towards the right, the left hand on the mat. If you open your right arm towards the sky, find a twist. Take one more round of breath here. 
and then exhale, release, and walk it towards the other side. Maybe you grab your shin if that's more serving to your body. One more round of breath. And exhale, release. Halfway lift, inhale, flat back. And we'll walk it back to the top of our mat towards runner's lunge. Inhale, shine your chest. And then exhale, take it back to plank. Move through a flow. Option to do chaturanga and lower halfway if you want to really get that in and then do upward facing dog or continue to flow as we have been. We'll all meet in downward facing dog. One round of breath here. Exhale side out. We're now this time ground down in the left hand and then begin to bring your right arm underneath and across and maybe you grab your ankle, your shin, your leg. Just invite a twist into your downward facing dog. <sighs> Release the back and bite the shaking in the left arm. And release both hands back to the mat. We'll be doing the other side later. Ground down in the right foot. Inhale left leg this time opens up to scorpion leg to the dog. And finding a little bit of core action. Bring your left knee towards your left elbow. Exhale. Inhale, shift it back and up. Opposite, crossing underneath towards your right elbow. Exhale. Inhale, back. And exhale, left knee towards left elbow. Hold here, engage your core. And then swing your foot towards the right as you settle into pigeon pose on the other side. <sighs> Again, option to come to a cedar to your back, crossing left ankle over right knee. Otherwise, as you are ready, begin to sink it down towards the earth. And we'll take six rounds of breath here. Staying here for six rounds because I gave a longer demo on the other leg. So if you had already been here, you got about eight rounds of breath in total. every exhale try to find some form of release mental emotional physical use the breath to really push into your boundary of your muscles and then exhale to release last round of breath You're on a seat or on your back, I invite you to slowly make your way towards plank. Walk back onto your hands, tuck your back toes, taking it back to three-legged dog. Inhale with your scorpion leg. Option to stay here or drop that foot behind you as you move into wild thing. And just an option. And then taking it back, your three-legged dog. Step your foot all the way through. Exhale. Back heel back and down. And inhale, the air was resting the two, cartwheel your arms open. Warrior two. Inhale, straighten the front leg as you turn both toes towards the long edge of your mat. And then folding over as you are ready. Exhale, release into wide-legged forward. Option to stay here with your hands on the mat, or option to bring your arms towards your sacrum, your low back, interlace your fingers, maybe do it in the way that feels a little funky this time, and then bring your arms up and overhead. If you have more tension in the neck and want to release the neck, I invite you to take a clasp of your fingers and bring it to the nape of your neck. That will give you a little more release there.
whichever clasp you have, one more round of thread. At the end of the exhale, slowly release your hands back towards the earth. Inhale, halfway lift. Take it back towards the top of your mat. Exhale. Inhale, shine your chest. Exhale, step it back to plank and move through your flow. Whatever way serves your body. We'll all meet in Adho Mukha Svanasana. Now from here, doing the twist on the other side, ground down in the left hand. As we already reach your left arm underneath the trees over your right shoulder. Or under your right shoulder, I should say. Find a twist. One more round of breath. And release both hands back towards the mat. Lift the heels, inhale, bend the knees, and then step or hop your way towards the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, bow, stay here. Now we've been bending one knee and then the other, but this time we're going to try to keep both legs straight again, not popping your knees out, but keeping a nice gentle bend, placing the left, the right hand on the mat, and I'll open the left arm into the sky. So the bend in the knee was to help us get a little bit deeper into this. One more round of breath. And exhale, bring it back to center. Now the other arm opens up, inhale. Right arm into the sky, left hand on the mat. Knees are moving towards straight. And exhale, release. A last thing here, bring your hands to your low back, bind them if you haven't already. And then maybe lift your arms up overhead or adjust your elbows, grabbing your elbows. And now from here, bend the right knee, dip your right shoulder into that right knee, opening the left, gazing up. And then switch, bend the left knee as you straighten the right, pulling your hands towards the left to open the right shoulder. And bring it back to center, exhale, release. <sighs> Rolling all the way up, inhale, lift, hands come up, last, and exhale, hands come through heart center and down by your side. Let's take a second here and check in with ourselves. How do you feel? Where do you feel release? Let's take one more round of breath. And as you're ready, begin to heel toe your feet a little wider, toes pointed slightly out. Inhale, arms sweep up and squat between your legs. Exhale. Again, inhale, lift. And exhale, squat. Inhale, lift. Exhale, squat it down. Inhale, lift. Just five times in total. Exhale. Inhale, lift. And last time, exhale, squat it down if you want to stay here, if you need a block to sit under, or sink yourself all the way down into Malasana. I'll turn to face you, driving the outside of your elbows in towards the inside of your legs. You can option to be sitting on a block, or if this doesn't serve you, come to a cross-legged seat. Let's take one more round of breath here and add a little twist if you want. Exhale, release. Then begin to place your right hand on the mat and open the left arm back and out like we did at the beginning. Finding a little twist. If you really want to bind, you can. I won't cue it, but if you know it's in your practice, you can go there. Otherwise, keep focusing on opening up your chest. Let's do one more round of breath and bring it back in through center as we switch towards the other side. Other hand balancing on the earth. Again, option to come into that bind if you really want or to stay nice and open here. Try to keep your knees from coming in. Take 
one more round of breath. And bring it back to center. Take a moment, maybe give gratitude for something here today. And we'll slowly come to a seat. I'll turn back towards the front of my mat. Just come to a seat in a way that serves you, extending your legs out nice and long. Maybe you give yourself a little foot massage. Ooh, stretch something out. And then as you're ready, sit up nice and tall, hands by your hips, Dandasana, step pose. Take a second to observe how all of the muscles in your body are kind of working right now. Now as you're ready, inhale, sweep your arms up, cross your right or your left hand over, it doesn't matter which, just cross them, and then reach down for your feet so that your opposite hand is reaching for your opposite foot. If you don't reach your feet, you can be more up on your shins whatever serves you. Take a little stretch there. In a variation of Paschimottanasana. And then let your hands, if they're on your feet, come to your ankles. And we'll add a little bit of a flow. So as you're on your inhale, bring your right arm back. Stretch it open, kind of that same movement we've been doing. And then sweep it through like you're swimming. Exhale, moving to the left. Inhale, open the left arm back. Inhale, sweep it up, swim it forward, release. Let's do that four more times each side on your own breath. Just find a little shoulder mobility. Three more times. Twice more. Finding calm and gentle, repetitive movement. This is the last time now opening that right arm back and stay there for a couple rounds of breath. Again, practicing that opening. And then release and we'll take it open the left. your hand, your opposite hand to the outside of the other shin to really get a nice stretch. And release. Take a second here. And slowly roll the torso up, bend the knees, take the soles of the feet to the mat, and we'll bring it onto our backs. a round of breath to make any observations in the body. And then slowly on your next exhale, bring your knees into your chest, give yourself a little hug. And then inhale, send the feet towards the sky. This is a great pose to do against a wall, especially right before bedtime, it's draining everything out of the legs. Or if you've done a lot of work on the leg and you wanna drain the blood out of it to reduce some swelling. It's also a great practice. As you're ready, cross the right knee over the left. Maybe move your right calf out of the way, bend both knees, and either hold here on the knees or grab your ankles to come into reclined Vomutasana cow face pose. If you feel your shoulders rolling forward, gently guide the outside of your shoulders back towards the mat. the hips just a little bit more here. Then keeping what you have in the legs, let your hands come out to a T and begin to drop your legs over towards the left. And then gaze over your right shoulder. back to center and then maybe take it towards the other side towards the right as you gaze over your left shoulder and bring it back through center and uncross we'll switch take the left 
leg over the right knee and find a nice little stretch. If you see me struggling against the <laughs> this, I, I was a broom. Whoopsies. <clears throat> Last round of breath before letting your hands, oops, if there's enough space, come to a T, whoops, and then we'll drop the legs off towards the right first, gazing over towards the left. It's okay if your left shoulder lifts up a little bit, just try to imagine you're guiding it towards the earth. One more round of breath. And then we'll bring it to the other side. Exhale. Gazing over your right shoulder. Just noticing how each side feels different. And then bring your legs back through center. And lift them high up into the sky. Inhale. And then exhale. Do whatever serves you. So if you want to do a shoulder stand, if you feel like coming into plow pose, if you want to work a happy baby in, or if you are 100% ready to move into Shavasana, just take these last moments for you. What would serve your body? Just everything out as needed. meet in corpse pose shavasana and class let's do a little bit of pmr progressive muscle relaxation it's a great tool um, when you squeeze something together and then you release there's an increased burst of blood flow right like imagine you squeeze a sponge and it bounces back and so it's a good way to just kind of help our bodies move Move, thing, move things through it. So as you're ready, scrunch your toes up and your feet. And then release. Next, scrunch your legs, your glutes, your calves, just if you can, all at the same time. And release. Move it up to your hands, clench your hands. And release. I'm trying to clench the abs and the, maybe the pecs and the chest. And release. The arms, just the biceps. Maybe you have to curl our hands a little bit to try to tighten your biceps and your triceps and your forearms. And release. Now your shoulders, whatever makes sense, and your neck. And release. I know it's a little hard to isolate. Last but not least, scrunch your face. And release. And now we'll scrunch everything together. Scrunch, scrunch, scrunch. Ah, and release, exhale. And then we'll take a couple more rounds of it. Here.
jump overhead. Maybe bring one foot up and then the other. Maybe hold on to one side. When you are ready, or you can stay in corpse pose, always an option. Come to a seat. Let's place one hand back on our heart and stomach. We hope you feel calmer after this practice. Especially if you had racing thoughts and a lot of stress. Maybe even just talking about it brings you back, so I won't. Just let something go. Let, let a weight come off your shoulders a bit. But something that you don't need to carry, or maybe that you're making a little bit heavier. Thank you for letting me be a part of your practice. I thank you for sharing an hour of your life with me. It truly is a joy and the light in me. Loves and honors the light in each and every one of you. Namaste.